up guys, my name is Emily. My name is Amanda, welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. We have a really, really awesome video for you. We are going to catch, clean, clean and, and cook, cook Rupert, Rupert Cheeks. Cheeks. Would you like to explain? I'll explain. So we just went on this awesome trip on the Yankee Caps. We caught a ton of groupers and we decided that not only do we want to catch, clean and cook grouper, but we want to catch, clean and cook grouper cheeks. Yes. So we've already filleted our groupers, but now we are going to focus on the cheeks. But before we get into that, we're going to show you the groupers that we caught. Good grouper! Our grouper! Okay, this, this is our jig. This is a red grouper, guys. Check it out. This is kind of like when you're slow pitch digging, this is really what you're targeting. Groupers, mutton, snapper, that kind of species. And this is our jig. Falcon Z180. These are gonna be like little bites. These are gonna be delicious. It's so easy and so simple to get the grouper cheeks out, guys. You literally are just going on an angle like this to all the way up to the mouth of the grouper. And then once you're there, you're going to slice through the meat, but not the skin, to peel it off. So pretty. This is like look at the meat. A delicacy. Look at that. These little like sand dollar size grouper cheeks. It's gonna be so good. Red grouper cheek coming right up. And you're basically going right in front of the gill. Yep. And then I'm gonna turn a little bit to get around the eyeball for myself. Don't really care for the eyeball. <laughs> Just Need to make sure I get all the meat. Okay, there we go. Now, going to slice to the skin, but not through the skin. Make sure I did that right. Almost. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this. And literally peel it off. That's insane. Oh yeah, definitely. It's like such a cool way to eat fish. Ta-da!
filleted. Now we're gonna cook this delicacy of grouper cheeks. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to Hogfish. It's called Hogfish, right, Amanda? Hogfish Bar and Grill Hogfish, on Stock yes. Island, right? Yes, Hogfish Bar and Grill on Stock Island. Sometimes, a good amount of the time, they have grouper cheeks. And if it's not on their menu, ask them, because they might have it. And they typically fry theirs. So what we figured we would do is we're gonna do our version of frying. We're not gonna deep fry it, but we are gonna fry it in a pan with some coconut oil. Coconut oil fried version. It's so good and crispy, guys, when you do coconut oil. And check out these grouper cheeks. Pick one up, Emily. They're blending in with the plate. Yeah. There we They're go. They're little disc. They're little sand dollars. Sand dollar fish fillets, which is super cool. Because these grouper cheeks are going to be really fast, they're small, it's going to be quick. I'm going to start heating my pan right now and put my coconut oil in there. What I'm going to do is my pan is at a medium high heat. So this is like a typical like deep fry, 350, 375 degrees. So we want your oil to get to. This is brand new coconut oil. There we go. Much better. All right, and the coconut oil is gonna go in this pan. We want a nice layer of coconut oil in our pan, so it's really almost as if you are deep frying this fish, it's just in a pan. Let's salt and pepper these grouper cheeks, guys. Featuring Mickey Mouse salt shakers. Just gonna lightly salt and pepper both sides of these grouper cheeks. Look at that. Mickey Mouse makes a feature in these videos. Perfect little grouper disc going into the flour. Look how coated it is. Perfectly nice and coated, check this out. Let me check it out. There he is. Look, look at that, look at that. Into the egg, the egg wash, just eggs, scrambled eggs. No milk, nothing. And then lastly into the panko. I'm gonna put this on a plate and finish the rest and then get them in the pan. maybe a minute and a half to a minute 45 seconds, depending on how thick they are. You hear that sizzle, guys? Amanda, come check this out. Listen to the sizzle. Look at that. Sizzle. Look at that. smell sweet. This smells amazing. I so wish you could smell this. I wish we could smell it too. Okay, let's break one open. The smaller ones I cooked for about 45 seconds aside. The bigger ones was about a minute aside. And the biggest one I probably did a total of 2 minutes and 20 seconds. So split up between each side. Time to break them open, guys. The grouper cheeks. Whoa, look at all that steam. Look at that. You see how flaky that is, guys? The steam coming off of it. Wow, the coconut oil, definitely a must. Try it, Amanda. <laughs> you ready? I think I'm gonna go sit down and finish these grouper cheeks, guys, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the compilation of all the groupers, all the cheeks. To be honest, I'm kind of curious which cheek is what. I bet you this big one's the scamp grouper. Oh, for sure, the big ones are the scamps. And the little ones are the red groupers. Yes, definitely. But I hope you liked this video. Please like, subscribe, follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And make sure you guys put your thoughts in the comments. And if you cook this, you let us know.